to debate number two. And uh, IPL is back this season. It's already creating headlines. First big IPL controversy is here thanks to uh, Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Now, what he did yesterday uh, uh, on the crease has clearly sparked a massive debate. I'm sure by now you've already heard the way he carried out that run out of Butler. Now, the fact is, is it's a term that is called mankaring, which comes from a player, uh, uh, Vinu Mankar, who actually first did this kind of a smart way of running out a batsman. So the batsman who is standing on the non-striker end, if he begins to walk outside and gets outside of the crease line before the bowler has actually thrown the ball, the bowler does have the bandwidth and is allowed to hit the bales and run out that batsman. And that's exactly what R. Ashwin did yesterday, the captain for Kings Levin in the game against Rajasthan Royals. But that's triggered a massive debate and a lot of people are very, very angry uh, with R. Ashwin for doing that. Ashwin's actions were actually, this is the first such incident that has taken place in the IPL 10 years after IPL started. So it's obviously not something that happens very, very commonly. But why the outrage? And is it justified if it's not against the rules? Then why cry foul? That's the big question that I'm asking tonight. And this one is open to our viewers as well. So pick up those phones and tell us what you think. Do you or do you not back what Ashwin did, irrespective of what uh, the international outrage is. Dr. Bimal Soni, Deputy President for the Rajasthan Cricket Association, joining me this evening. Kishore Bimani, cricket commentator. Alan Sippy, former cricketer. And Satish Mishra, a senior sports journalist. Alan, let's begin with you. What did you think of Ashwin's actions? Uh, Tanvi, good evening. Uh, first of all, I was extremely, extremely disappointed. Very disappointed because I was actually watching the game. I was in my home watching the game, and it was an interesting game. I wasn't even citing any team in particular. It was, I was just a neutral spectator. And all of a sudden, uh, I saw this because Josh Butler was batting very well. And as a cricketer, I was enjoying the game. But then all of a sudden, I saw this action, uh, this uh, thing that what uh, Ashwin did, which totally, I mean, I, I was totally disheartened as a cricketer because I felt that it wasn't in the spirit of the game. Today, we're going to be talking about the laws of the game, spirit of the game. But as a cricketer, I was absolutely disheartened because I felt that why would somebody do something like this? For me, only Ashwin can answer this point. Hmm. Because for me, it looked, it was completely intentional. Ashwin might say it was instinctive. His words, when he said to the media, it was instinctive. As a cricketer, and I was watching his action, I looked at where he stopped when he was bowling. For me, it was completely intentional. I'm, I'm not going to sit on the fence and say that uh, it wasn't, because I, it looked intentional. But he's the person who can actually explain to the world mm. that it wasn't intentional because if it is intentional it's it's horrendous it is absolutely uh, it's disheartening as a cricketer is disheartening the whole world's talking about it right now because you you want to win you want to win a game you want to win it in the spirit of the game okay but you don't want to win in this manner because this was just it was just not acceptable okay yes and I, you know that's largely the debate the rules and the cricket laws versus the spirit of the game. Uh, Ashwin, on Ashwin's behalf, this is what he has said. I don't understand where the spirit of the game comes in. Naturally, if it's there in the rules, it's there. It wasn't planned or anything like that. It's there within the rules of the game. It was pretty instinctive. I actually didn't load and he left the crease and that's why I decided to do this at that point of time. It came instinctively. Uh, Satish Mishra, do you understand this outrage and what, uh, uh, you, you know, even Alan Sippy is saying that he shouldn't have done that because it goes against the spirit of the game? Yeah, very much. I was in Vankhede Stadium covering the match. And uh, what we have seen and what we have discussed about that is was that ki, why there is hue with cry? We, once... One way we are talking about that game should be played within the rules. हम बातें करते हैं कि नहीं कुनियम और कानून से क्रिकेट खेला जाना चाहिए। अगर ये MCC के law 42.15, which was done in 1947, the same विनु मांकड ने जब ये किया तब ये हुआ। तब जब जब law बनाया गया, तब से लेकर आज तक इतने incident हुए and 
when, whenever Indians are involved, तब वो खेल भावना स्पोर्ट्समैन स्पिरिट की बात होती है और लेकिन जब सामने वाले क्रिकेटर कोई करता है तब कोई ऐसी बात नहीं होती वॉट कोटनी वॉच डिड यू नो दैट वेस्ट इंडीज लॉस द वर्ल्ड कप सो हम हम अब जब ये हमारे रूल के अंदर है ये बनाया हुआ एंड यू नो इट वेरी वेल फ्यू मंथ्स बैक ओनली जस्ट फ्यू मंथ्स बैक ओनली एम सी सी रेक्टिफाइड द सेम रूल विथ फोर्टी टू पॉइंट वन सिक्स सेइंग दैट दे इज नो नीड टू इवन वॉन एंड जोस बटलर वॉज डेफिनेटली टेकिंग टू स्ट्राइट्स अहेड वेन ही जब उन्होंने उसको मैंगडिट uh, किया तब वो दो दो कदम आगे बढ़ के एडवांटेज तो मिल ही ले आ रहा था तो उन्होंने जो किया वॉट आई मीन टू से बिल्कुल सही है नियम के कानून के भीतर उन्होंने किया हुआ है जब या तो नियम को फॉलो किया जाए या नहीं किया जाए जब नियम है जिसके अंतर्गत अभी तक एटलीस्ट नाइनटी सेवन इंसिडेंट्स हो चुके हैं जिसमें ये माना गया है और आउट दिया गया है तो जब वो अश्विन आउट करे तो गलत है वॉट्समैन स्पिरिट की क्या से बात होती है जिसने Seven. It was actually Don Bradman who came out in his support, and Don Bradman the, at that point said, "For the life of me, I can't understand why the press is questioning his sportsmanship." So, Mr. Kishore Bimani, why are we even now, these many years later, questioning his sportsmanship if the law allows it? You know, the game of cricket is not only played according to the law. It is a British game. The British have an unwritten constitution for their politics. They also have an unwritten law in this matter. I am surprised that nobody has brought up the whole uh, underarm bowling action. Underarm bowling was legal up to the time that Greg Chappell asked his younger brother Trevor Chappell in a triangular series to bowl an underarm ball to uh, McEachney of New Zealand. for one reason only because he needed five runs of the last last ball and he should not get it the whole world came down on him i was also on tv and i was asked what i thought of it i thought it was disgusting i said there is no question of and you could have said that it's within the rules now mankading we know very well that if you start it i could count uh, forget about yesterday i could tell you about today there were at least six times once when harbhajan was bowling and harbhajan stopped to look at the batsman it's all in context of what happened yesterday but he didn't knock the bails off i have seen a thousand matches in my 45 years of cricket and it's a very rare mm. very rare case where people resort to mankading to get the opposition out cricket is a game that is played according to traditions the tradition say mankading is uh, uh, is against the spirit of the game it also says bowling underarm is against the spirit of the game there are lots of other things for example one incident i remember now this particular thing was i was watching a match in the caribbean when tony greg and alvin kalicharan were involved greg uh, what he did was last ball of the day and kalicharan played it played forward to it and uh, started going off the field now the technically the umpire had not yet called stumps now what happened was tony greg threw the ball at the stumps stood there appealed vociferously and said he's out now he was given out according to the umpires but the whole the uh, riot blew up there were going to be killings that night it was so bad so violent mm. that uh, i i remember i felt very very scared to be there but the thing was that the next do you know what was the result the same icc was consulted and icc said you will continue the match tomorrow and kalicharan is not out and the uh, result was reversed now let's go let let's be pre- pretty clear on this there are certain rules that that may exist in uh, on the statute 
but it doesn't mean you quote them. I mean, if somebody had said in the beginning of the IPL, if, if one of these gentlemen had said the, in the IPL rules committee that you can do this, it'd be fair enough. Say it. But Don't say it's uh, in the rules when it suits you. So, uh, 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 Dr. Soni, let me come to you. Do you agree, Vimal Soni, with what uh, Kishore Bimani is saying? Because the fact of the matter is it's in the rules. The rules were re-looked at. In fact, there was a change made to this specific rule in 2017 that redefined at what point of your bowling action at the beginning or the end can you still, uh, you know, run out the uh, non-striker. So, obviously, it's uh, people know about it. It's in, in, in their mind. They have reviewed it as, as recent as 2017. So, why shouldn't it be used. Well, I am very much, uh, I am not with Kishorji on this issue. I am absolutely clear. If it comes in the rule, you have a legal right to do it. And with a T20 game, which was so closely fought yesterday, if Joe's Butler was bunkered out, it's part of the rule. And it's a, it's a tough game. It's a very close game. I, traditions have to be there. In test cricket, we have done it many a time. But with these kind of games, you have to play the tough game. I am very clear. I also know that Joe's Butler has been monkeyed out earlier on also. Yes. And I think in the team strategy, they might have discussed it, that if this guy does it again, please run him out. And if it has been done, it is in that nick of the moment. Although okay. he has said that he had instantly done it, but I think technically he is right. But if we go by traditions of cricket, then we don't play today's 2020 like that. Even we are playing, uh, you know, 10 over games now. So in these kind of games, you should know your rules. You should play the game as per rules. And if I do something which is within the rules, I think I am right. This, okay. uh, you know, gentlemanly game and all things are there. I agree. But well, let me add to this, Dr. Sony, let me add to this and let me take the point that you're making across to Alan Sippy. And Alan Sippy, so if the bowler uh, during that action even, uh, you know, goes beyond the crease of by half a centimeter or even less than that, the third umpire goes back and forth to look at that and take a call on whether it's a no ball or not. If the batsman crosses uh, and the wicketkeeper gets hold of the ball, then you can always go for the stump option and the batsman is out. Whether knowingly or unknowingly, he's gone a little ahead and gone beyond the crease line. So why is the rule different for the non-striker and why is an extra courtesy? Let's even forget about the rule. Let's talk about the courtesy and the spirit of the game. Why is it different for the non-striker runner? Well, I can explain. I mean... I'll, I will stick with uh, Dr. Sony on this, where he says that it's in the law of the game. He's absolutely right. There is no argument. I don't, I don't intend to argue with him on that point. But if it's in the law of the game, that's fine. But he should have. As a cricketer, I'm saying, we are, we are playing sport. And as Mr. Bimamni has said, we are playing sport in a, in, a, in, a, in a manner that we should be good with people. It's a spirit. Now, what he should have done, what uh, Ashwin should have done, he should have warned uh, Joss Butler and said, listen, you know, if you do this again, I will, I will do this to you. If you look at him, Josh Butler is not trying to take a single. He's not trying to steal a single. He's just walking, and he's done this in the past. I agree with the, one of them, as he said earlier. He's done this in the past, but he's actually taking a stroll. He's just walking very casually out of his crease. So he hasn't, he's not trying to steal a single. In my opinion, if you ask many cricketers today, we're all divided. Today, on this panel, we are divided. We are saying that uh, in the laws of the game, it's right, and in the spirit of the game, it's not right. If you ask cricketers who have played sport, I mean, have played the game of cricket, they will be embarrassed to do this. They might agree with Ashwin. They might say, yes, he's in the, in the laws of the game, he's right. But if you ask 10 cricketers, I'm telling you this, Tanvi, with the bottom of my heart, if you ask 10 professional cricketers, would you do this? Uh, would you, Mankad, uh, Josh Butler, would you take this uh, decision to run him out? Nine of the ten will not do this because it's embarrassing. It's very embarrassing for people to do this type of thing. Everybody wants to win. It's a winner. It's, it, today it's a sport where winner takes all. I understand that. Winner is everything. I mean, winning is everything. But winning, there is a way of winning. 
This was very embarrassing. I'm, I'm as is neutral. I'm not against Ashwin, and neither am I against. I mean, in favor of Josh Butler. I'm just saying, as a neutral, it was very embarrassing. Today we are talking about Josh Butler. Tomorrow, if just imagine, if Virat Kohli was batting, and somebody from somewhere, some other country, did this to Virat Kohli, in in and uh, ran him out this way, we would go ballistic in this country. I mean, it's not argument about law or spirit. It's embarrassing to do this. That's all we are saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just sticking to the point that what Ashwin did was, as a cricketer, it was very embarrassing for me to watch. That's all I'm trying to... My, my, that's my point. Mr. Satish Mishra, do you want to respond to that? Yeah, if Virat Kohli ko koi Australian uh, aise out, how do we react to that? Virat Kohli ko Definitely, if you have a है तो अगर कोहली अगर आगे बढ़ के अगर उसको लेते हैं तो अगर आउट करता तो उनको आउट बिल्कुल माना जाएगा. I want to just clarify the Alan has just mentioned that he should have had warned. Gentlemen, just few months back only, MCC has revised the rules that there is no need to even warn and one should make a date. So there is no question of warning. जब यहाँ पे allow किया जाता है कानून allow karta hai and what about to ki jo baat ho rahi hai ki out of 10 main kehta hu ye cheeze 97 bar first class cricket mein ab tak hui hai aur har bar indian ke sath bhi hua hai tab kisi ko oh nahi hoti aur sportsman spirit ki baat hoti hai ki yahan ki baatein ki jati hai aaj sabse bada to embarrassing reaction shane won ka aaya a person who has never followed any matlab sportsman spirit ke against raha hai wo khiladi aur aaj wo baatein is tarah kar raha hai to you know when ye ye sahi baat aapne boli mr satish mishra ki maine bhi jab mujhe bahut zyada hansi aayi ki shane won jo hai ab hame lecture de rahe hain is cheez pe ki ye bilkul disappointing tha aur he is disappointed in ashwin ki matlab australians bhul chuke ki wo kya kya techniques use karte hain jeetne ke liye aur aaj hame unse lecture mil raha hai but okay completely out of time thank you to all our panelists but i have one caller on the phone line our viewers are also calling in our phone lines are actually buzzing right now deepa on the phone line from Mumbai. Go ahead, Deepa. What do you think? I'm uh, Gita Pillai here from Mumbai. Yes, go ahead, please. Yeah. Actually, whatever the debate about embarrassing and everything, this uh, the very panel will change if it was a World Cup match between India and Pakistan and the final ball, India needed one run. And then in that case, everybody would have said that Ashwin is a hero of our country. This entire discussion is unwarranted and whatever Ashwin is right is right. And I'm very happy it has happened before the World Cup so that everybody knows the rules of the cricket game. Right. I have to say, if, if other country players would have done it, they would not have made it such a big issue. We have, we have got a very bad thing of exposing our well, Many of our own are also raising this. Maybe we do hold ourselves to higher standards than what the rest of the cricketers do and believe more in the spirit of cricket than some of the other foreign teams do. But thank you to our panelists for joining in. I just want to quickly mention what Rakesh Gupta said, an interesting view from Hyderabad. They're talking about traditions in cricket. Where is the tradition in T20? Point of tradition should be kept aside when talking of T20. And there is a point there, uh, you know, traditions and the spirit of the game as it was uh, when test matches were actually the trend of the day uh, are very, very different from the aggressive game that we play when it comes to T20. And perhaps that also needs to be kept in mind. Thank you so much for joining us on this conversation.